This week, we're doing an entire living room overhaul. Welcome back to our channel guys. For everyone that's new here, my fiance and I have been renovating this retired school bus for the past six months. And at this point, we're only a few weeks away from hitting the road. This week, we're gonna be focusing on finishing up the living room area, which includes adding a couch, adding trim, and even installing a flip up hidden TV. Over the past few days, I've been working on putting together a pretty crude couch, but it will work for our purposes. On one side, we have an area for a drawer. On the other, we have a flip-up cabinet that can lead to some cold storage. And next to that, the tiniest Chase Lounge bump out that you have ever seen. Natalie and I love Chase Lounges. We love being able to kick our feet up, but in the bus, we don't really have a lot of room. So we kind of made room for it. It's very tiny, but I think it'll add to that cozy factor that we're really trying to push into the bus. This is my first attempt putting the drawer into the drawer slides I just installed. On every other drawer I've installed so far, there's always some tinkering I have to do. So I'm really hoping I got it perfect this time because it's not fun to try to adjust it afterwards. So wish me luck. All right, and I'm just worried it's too small. One second. All right, yeah, that's not fitting. It's, it's way too small on this side. So I'm gonna have to put a spacer. It is just not on there right now at all. These are the trim pieces that are gonna go on the windows around the entire bus. We wanted to get them all knocked out at once. So while I was out here doing this, I was complaining to Jimmy that I have like 10 new bug bites. And so a couple minutes later, he comes back out of the bus with a lit citronella candle and he set it over there. That was super sweet. It seemed to help because a huge yellow jacket flew up to me then he, uh, he went up to the candle and then he left. And they usually kind of linger, so thanks, Jimmy. Ta-da! It is done. So I got the cabinet in. It is a little bit tighter than I would have liked, but I was messing around with it for a few minutes to try to get it just perfect. It's a lot better than how it was on the first try. It's definitely good enough, which is kind of becoming the theme of a lot of these projects that we're working on. So we're just gonna leave it. We can always adjust it on the road, but I think we can move on to some other projects now. Take a good look at this dashboard because I'm gonna make it look so much different. Well, I guess, I guess it might not look that much different, but I will make it look better. The paint on here is super old. I don't think it was ever updated in the 24 years that this bus has been around. I think it's time to sand it down, try to clean it up, take off some of the stickers that don't apply anymore, and try to rejuvenate this dash. I'm gonna hurt myself. I want to take off my glasses because they're fogged up, but uh, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This is good. Look at that. A voice. Nice. Jimmy, what do you have? 
<laughs> we have reached the peak of bus life. To be honest, our entire build has led up to this one moment. <laughs> Gosh, it just looks so out of place out here with all the trees and then you just have this flat screen TV. That's what it's gonna look like in our build. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be all it's gonna be all this nice homemade woodworking, nice stained wood, and then this. <laughs> That's why we can hide it if we want to. Yeah. Well I sure hope it fits. Me too. <laughs> When we initially had the idea for a hidden TV cabinet, we were planning on having a full like two inch butcher block counter. We ended up going with edge glued panel because it looked about the same and it was much, much cheaper. So I'm a little nervous to see if this will actually support the weight of the TV. Yes, I'm terrified actually. <laughs> oh man, I am really nervous about this. Because it's not just seeing if the TV flip up idea is going to work. I'm just nervous about the pilot holes because we have to make sure that we don't drill all the way through the countertop. Because if we do, there's going to be a permanent hole on the top of our counter. I'm just anxiously waiting for this part to be over. Thank you. She's got to have more faith in me. This will be perfect. You're going to do great, Jimmy. I'm sorry. All right, we're doing it? Oh, I guess so. Please try your best not to go through the whole board. I will really try it. I believe you. Now, where does it start? Like, good? Yeah. Yay. Like eight more to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Better work. <laughs> I know the thought just occurred to me that mounting a television is the one part of this build that we have experience with. <laughs> and we just true. had to take it a step further and make it more complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'm really afraid this is just gonna break our board. Yeah, me too. Can I check to see if any of these split? Yeah, let's check it. Looks good. I'll be careful. Okay, that's not good on top, and then push it in on the bottom. I think it's good. Should I just let go? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna let go. Stop. Like, it's okay. holding the weight. And let's go ahead and try to shut it. Okay. That is quite creaky. Mm -hmm. so. There's a TV in here, and you don't even know it. Well, that was scary, but I think it works. I mean, it's exactly like we were picturing. We'll just have to see if it holds over time. If it doesn't, we'll fix it. But uh, this is pretty much the best case that we could have hoped for. This is exactly what we wanted. Initially, before we started any of the build, our plan was to have a hidden televator pretty much in the same spot. But when we were getting to the kitchen, we didn't really want to worry about that with the countertop. I like our solution now of having a flip top hidden TV cabinet because I think it's a really simple idea, but I think it works really well. It's nice being able to put the TV away and have a very simple, natural aesthetic, but then we know us. We know we like watching TV. It's something that we really needed to have in our build. So I think this is a really good way to incorporate it. We'll see if it holds up over time. It has not gotten any cooler. It is still super hot out here. So the TV is mounted. It's really creaky and it's pretty heavy, but I'll feel better about it once we get some hooks to hook it from the top. When we ran all the cables months ago, we had this in our plans and we ran an HDMI cable all the way through the bus, through the ceiling, through the kitchen, into that spot right there so we could connect it to the TV. So now I think it's finally time to hook it up. We're in. All right, the TV is looking really good. We just ran all the cables for it. So it is now officially plugged up and we've got the HDMI cable run. We are missing a few parts, so we're gonna run to the store real quick and we're gonna grab some fish and eye hooks to actually hang it and prop it up. So 
Natalie doesn't have to stand there the entire time I want to watch TV. And we've got a cool toy coming in tomorrow that we're going to use on the other end of the HDMI cable. So I can't wait to show you that. I am going to paint the couch that Jimmy threw together. I'm actually really impressed with how quickly he was able to pull the couch together. I don't know if you remember back when we were building our dinette benches, but it took us like, I think there are three or maybe even four videos about the dinettes just because it took that long to get them just right. But this couch, I, he kind of just pulled it together in a few days and it looks really good. There's a flip up compartment that we can use for storage as well as a pull out drawer. And we initially wanted to do two drawers, but it's important to us that we leave the gas tank accessible from the inside so that if we need to get work done down the road, we don't have to pay to have the gas tank drop. That's why we have the flip up compartment on one side of the couch, but to be honest, that kind of gives us more room for storage anyway. And it's nice to have the balance between the roomier storage with the flip top and the more accessible storage with the pull out drawer. So I think it's really kind of hit a sweet spot. And I know we're gonna miss these days very soon, but we're just going at 100% the last several weeks. And I'm so ready to finally move in and relax in here. I think it's going to be super nice and fixing up the living room is a huge step to being able to be comfortable inside the bus. So I think that's why this is such an exciting step. All right guys, so it's finally time to install our toilet. This was like the first thing we ordered months ago. We thought this would be like a three month build. This took a month and a half to even come in. So we decided to order it early. It was like one of the first things we got and it just sat there. If you go back into most of our earlier videos, we put this in there just to get a sense of how big it was. And so in all our videos, this is just in the background sitting kind of where the shower area would sit. So it's finally time. So let me go show you what my plan is for it. We created a waterproof cubby inside the shower for the toilet to go into. But my plan today is to create a little dolly for the toilet to sit on that we can then roll in and out of its little hidden cubby. So I've got this plank of wood. I have this two by three with some casters attached to the side. And basically I'm gonna attach it to the bottom of our little plank of wood. And I'm gonna have wooden pegs on the other side. So it'll only have wheels on one side. So it'll be a little bit more stable once you actually pull it out and this cart will allow us to roll the toilet in and out. One problem we were dealing with is that the toilet itself is about 18 inches off the ground, which is already a little high, and then adding this would be another three to four inches. So my plan is, instead of attaching these casters directly to the plank of wood, I've added it to this two by three so that I can inset it just like this. So now, since the plank of wood is above it, the toilet would be on this side. The casters are now three quarter inches higher than they would be. So in the end, this will only add a couple inches to our toilet height. The last several weeks, maybe even the last month, I have been just head down working on getting the shower done. So Jimmy has been stepping up and doing a lot of the painting and staining that I usually like to do. And I honestly kind of missed it. Jimmy describes it as mind numbing, but I see it more as peaceful. There's a lot less pressure when I'm just putting a coat of paint on something. I have a ton of boards to stain and poly for the trim and I painted the entire couch. I painted a wall yesterday. I'm just really jumping back into it head first so I'm glad I had a chance to miss it but it really is good to be back doing it again. <laughs> so this is the wall that Natalie painted yesterday. After she painted it I went in and installed our last two light switches. So these are the same dimmable ones that we're using for the main lights. So we've got the bathroom one behind me the bedroom one here and then next to it that is our diesel heater remote control so we wanted to make sure that it was accessible from the bed so that we can turn it on on cold mornings before we get out of bed so when we installed the diesel heater months ago we made sure to run that line all the way through the bus and into this wall so that we can access it from the bed but 
Um, I can already tell it's gonna be really annoying because it has a bright LCD display on it and you can't turn off the display, so it's really bright, and it's right next to my head. So we'll probably come up with some cover for it, or maybe just tape over it when we go to bed. <laughs> I think I mentioned recently that I've missed this and that it's so peaceful. And uh, what I forgot is how hot it is. Just standing here for like an hour at a time in the blazing sun. One thing I always tend to do when I'm painting or staining or whatever, is I always kind of get up on a soapbox. And usually Jimmy is the only person subjected to that. But what's the fun of having a vlog channel if I can't rant to you guys while I paint? This week feels like we're taking a lot of really big risks, like most notably with the television. I think the shower is pretty much panned out. But with the TV, I'm a little scared every time we open it that it's just gonna fall and break our kitchen cabinets or the television itself. And I can't help but be a little bit nervous about it, but I mean, living in a school bus full time is a pretty big risk if you think about it. So I feel like this is like a community of free thinkers and risk takers and this is just part of that. And we're not saying that we recommend anyone try to suspend their TV from their upper cabinets. We're just saying that we're gonna try it and it might blow up in our faces, but it might not and it might be worth it. It's just too cool to not go for it. I think that looks pretty good. So we went to the store last night and we bought these clasps. They're gate clasps. so. I don't know how well they're gonna hold weight, but we got two, and we're gonna try it. Yep. <laughs> yep, famous last words. All right, well, it's still there, that's good. Like there or something? I wonder if I should get the uh, tape measure just to be safe. Yeah, sounds good. You know, the more nervous I get about this, the more I think I could just hold it in place while I watch TV. It's not that bad. Right. She said it, she's gonna hold it. Mm, we'll take turns. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. It fits. Is that okay? It's pretty close, but it definitely fits. I'm All right. even like, oh. Okay. Wow, I'm impressed that it could hold it. Uh, with just one of the hooks, but... Yeah, it yeah. seems very sturdy, so... That's really good. So we're still missing a few things, but we're going to test it. Ooh! Dude, that is awesome. You should see her today. <laughs> it's working! Gosh, that is so nice. That's running off of our solar batteries too. This is completely running off the sun. And uh, for anyone interested in numbers, this is taking up about four amps right now. So I feel like that's pretty good. It is gonna be much harder to go back to work though, having a functioning television in our <laughs> workspace. <laughs> uh, that's probably why we left this for last. Look how much this soaks it up. Guys, you gotta find a woman that will help you paint your toilet cart with you. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. how you know you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Natalie finished putting the last coat of poly onto the toilet cart. So it has about three coats of poly right now. It should be nice and waterproof, but I'm not expecting to get that much water on it even though it's in the wet room. It'll be hidden in the cubby most of the time, but I think it is finally time to install the toilet on it. All right, here it is. I think we did a good job of keeping the poly off the wheels. It seems to roll pretty well. Time to install the toilet. Let's 
gonna work really well. I never thought in all my days I would have a toilet on wheels. Uh, what are we doing? So the way the size of the toilet worked out is that when I installed the basket that will be holding our toilet paper and stuff on one side, it blocks the nature's head screw that lets you unscrew it to remove the base, which is really necessary when you're trying to clean out the solids bin. So to get around it, I just installed the basket with some screws and really large washers that you can spin and basically unlock the basket from the wooden frame and that will allow you to remove it and access the pan that's holding in the nature's head toilet. All right, Natalie, do you want to try it out? I guess so. It looks pretty tight. <laughs> this feels weird. There's no door and there's a camera pointed at me. <laughs> Breaks the illusion a little, but wow! <laughs> All right, that's pretty tight. It's like I don't think we could have made it an inch smaller, and it's really space efficient because of that. And I like our little basket for TP. I feel like that's the perfect size. Yeah, I can't stress how tight of a fit this is. We literally couldn't have had this an inch smaller. It is just barely in there. So we're gonna push it back and see how well it fits in the cubby. That's nice though. That is really not bad. And we only have to put it away when we want to take a shower. That's really out of the way for standing here to shower. I'm so relieved that fit. I was really nervous about it, probably more nervous about that than the TV. Because worst case for the TV, we can buy a smaller TV, but we can't buy a new toilet. This is it. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So the last thing we need to do is cut a hole and run the exhaust line that will pull the air from the solids bin. I'm gonna plug up the tube. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. All right, I think it's on. Really? Yeah, it's really quiet. Yeah, I can't even hear it up here. Wow. There you go. Hey guys, welcome to our tiny living room tour. This is our brand new living room. It has a ton of new features that we've added just this week. We have our couch, which Jimmy just Threw together and I think it looks awesome. We have six inches of foam cushions on the seat and a very soft cushion up here. And it is the perfect size to lounge and get comfy. We will have to get couch cushions eventually. We'll have to cover these, but we're running low on time, so this will work for now. What would the couch be without a nice television? So we got that too. There it is. One person can set it up or take it down in less than 20 seconds. We can cast to this using an HDMI cable that we ran through the ceiling of the bus. And, and we got this retractable HDMI cord that plugs into an inlet that we installed in our dinette bench seat. So I can just plug this into the inlet, pull it out, plug it into our computer which will then cast to our television. And we can just sit on the couch and watch. There is one more thing. So this week we installed a bunch of trim pieces around here that just kind of make everything look more polished. And we also have this little surprise. LEDs. <laughs> it really just kind of takes it to the next level. It's very fun. So it's really cool mood lighting. We can change the color. There are a ton of different options. I think it just adds to it, makes it feel really comfortable. I'm really enjoying our new living room. All right guys, well, we hope you enjoyed our tiny living room tour. We worked really hard on it and it turned out pretty much exactly how we intended. So we'll see if some things break down the road, but 
So far, so good. This is all we have for you guys this week, but stay tuned for next week because I think we're gonna move into the bus. Yep, it's finally time. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.